Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make your very own puppet that looks like a dog or you can make it look like anything you want. So you need two pieces of paper. One's going to be for folding and making your puppet. The other one's going to be for making things to go on your puppet. So we need to take our paper. We want it nice and wide and this might be something you need mom and dad's help with. Okay, we're going to take it and we're going to fold it so that it goes right to the middle. You also need your glue stick and markers and scissors too. So next, I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put glue on this side, all the way down on the part that was folded up. And then I'm gonna take this side, because it's long, and fold it over the top and glue it on. So that way, after you folded it and glued it, you kind of have a little pouch. This is my little pouch. You want to make sure it's glued down nice and tight, so you might need to add a little bit more glue like I have to. Now we're going to give it a second to dry. And while we let it dry, we're going to take our other paper and we're going to draw some things to go on our dog. So I'm going to draw a tongue. I'm gonna use my red marker and make a little tongue shape. It looks kind of like a door. You see my little shape? I'm gonna up, around, and down, and then I'm gonna color it in. I don't know what else we should get on this dog. Ooh, how about some ears? I can draw him some ears too. So I'm gonna take my black marker. I'm gonna make kind of the same shape, but skinnier for his ears. Now I'm making them at the bottom so it's easy to cut them out. There's one, two, because they have two ears. And I'm going to color those in too. You can make them black, you can make them brown, you can make them yellow, whatever color you want your dog to be. This mine's going to be white and black, kind of like a Dalmatian dog, like a fire station dog. So now that this is dry, we're going to take it and fold it in half. And we want the side we glued to be on the inside, not the outside. So after we fold it, we're going to take the little edges and fold those back. You see how that happened? I folded one back. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and fold it back too. I'm using thick paper so it's kind of hard to fold. So after you have it folded, you should have these little pouches. That's where your hands go. And there's my little puppet. And now I can make him into whatever I want, but this one's going to be a dog. So I need to give him some eyes. So I'm going to draw him two eyes. He also needs a nose, so I'm going to draw him a nose too. And Dalmatians have spots. So I'm going to give this dog some spots. Make one on that side, one on this side, one on top, one down here. So I'm also going to give him some spots on his sides, the little ones. Then I can cut out my tongue. Hopefully it's not too big. Let's see. Cut the tongue out. Be very careful with your scissors. We want to make sure that we're cutting nice and flat, not sideways. Up and down. And now that I got my tongue cut out, I'm going to take my glue again and glue it right in the middle so that way it's like his mouth is opening and closing. Let's see, is he starting to look like a little bit more like a dog? <gasps> look at his face. Now he needs his ears, huh? So let's cut out his ears too. And you guys could use the same way of folding and gluing it to make a puppet that looks like anything. You could make a unicorn by gluing on a horn. 
you could make a, what else could you make? A bunny by gluing on two ears straight up for Easter. Whatever you guys would like to do. I'm just showing you how to make a dog first because that's what we've been learning about. You can make it into a cat by giving it some whiskers. But I learned that I'm the only friend that has cats this morning. So I'm gonna glue his ears on the side, close to the top. Uh-oh, try again. There's one ear. Glue the other one too. There we go, there's my fire station dog. Look how his tongue sticks out super far. I can fold it down, there we go. Now I can put my fingers in those little spots we have. And I have my own puppet. Pretty cool. I wanna see what you guys make. I hope you guys have fun making your puppets. You might need some mom and dad help with folding, but you guys can decorate them however you would like. Sound good? Awesome. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.